Three decades have passed since the world bid farewell to Elizabeth Montgomery, the enchanting star best known for her role as the lovable witch Samantha Stevens on Bewitched. But even years after her departure, whispers and rumors about the private life of this Hollywood icon have lingered, shrouded in mystery and speculation. Now, in an unexpected turn of events, her children have come forward, ready to confirm the rumors that have captivated fans and skeptics alike. Elizabeth Montgomery's life, both on and off the screen, was filled with the kind of glamour and intrigue that could rival any Hollywood script. From her captivating performances to her tumultuous personal life, Elizabeth was a woman of contrasts, embodying both the light-hearted charm of her on-screen persona and the complex, often challenging reality of her off-screen existence. From her groundbreaking role in Bewitched to her passionate advocacy work, Elizabeth Montgomery's impact on Hollywood and beyond is undeniable. But as we delve deeper into her story, we uncover a tale of love, loss, and the relentless pursuit of happiness amidst the glare of the public eye. Father Complex In the heart of Los Angeles, under the bright lights of Hollywood, Elizabeth Montgomery's journey began, not on the stages of Broadway or the studios of a television set, but within the walls of a home steeped in the legacy of show business. Born on April 15, 1933, to Robert Montgomery, a revered figure in the golden age of cinema, and Broadway actress Elizabeth Allen, Elizabeth was destined for a life far from ordinary. Her father, a man of considerable influence and talent, shaped the early contours of her world, setting the stage for a complex relationship that would define much of her life. Robert Montgomery, known for his roles in films that captivated the hearts of America, harbored a vision for his daughter that strayed from the footlights and glamour of Hollywood. Despite his own success, he envisioned a life for Elizabeth that mirrored the traditional values of the time, a life of domesticity away from the unpredictable tides of acting. This vision, however, clashed with the dreams of a young Elizabeth, whose aspirations reached beyond the confines of a conventional existence. The tension between father and daughter was palpable, a silent battle of wills that played out against the backdrop of Elizabeth's burgeoning career. In 1951, Elizabeth's determination led her to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York, a move that marked the beginning of her defiance against her father's wishes. It was here, amidst the scripts and stages, that Elizabeth began to carve out her own identity, separate from the shadow of her father's legacy. Despite Robert's reservations, he could not deny the talent that pulsed through his daughter's veins. Reluctantly, he offered her a role in his television program, Robert Montgomery Presents, a gesture that was both an acknowledgement of her talent and a bid to keep her under his watchful eye. Elizabeth's performance, however, was met with critical acclaim, a testament to her innate ability to captivate an audience, much like her father. Yet, the approval she sought from Robert remained elusive. His critiques were harsh, often focusing on her mistakes rather than her achievements. This lack of approval became a driving force for Elizabeth, pushing her to prove her worth not just to her father, but to the world. Her marriage in 1954 to Frederick Kamen was seen as a step towards the life Robert had envisioned for her, yet it was a union that would not last. Elizabeth's spirit, too vibrant and ambitious to be contained by the expectations of others, led her down a path of self-discovery and independence. The complexities of Elizabeth and Robert's relationship were further compounded by their differing political views, adding layers of discord to an already strained dynamic. Elizabeth's liberal leanings stood in stark contrast to Robert's conservative stance, creating a chasm that would never fully close. The divorce of her parents and Robert's subsequent remarriage only served to deepen the wounds, leaving scars that would shape the course of Elizabeth's personal and professional life. As Elizabeth stepped out from under the shadow of her father's disapproval, her career began to flourish. Her roles on Broadway and in television showcased her versatility as an actress, earning her the admiration of audiences and critics alike. Yet, it was her role as Samantha Stevens in Bewitched that would immortalize her in the annals of television history. This role, emblematic of her charm and talent, was a far cry from the life of obscurity her father had once envisioned for her. Love Life 
Elizabeth Montgomery's heart was as captivating as her performances, leading her through a journey of love that was as varied and dramatic as any script she performed. Her personal life, marked by a series of marriages and relationships, reflected a quest for love that was both passionate and tumultuous. Her first marriage to Frederick Gallatin Cammon in 1954 was a brief chapter in her life, a union that seemed to fulfill her father's wish for her to lead a conventional life. However, the marriage quickly dissolved as Elizabeth's aspirations and dreams could not be contained within the confines of a traditional role. This early experience in matrimony was a prelude to the complex love life that would unfold in the years to come. In 1956, Elizabeth found love again with actor Gig Young, a man known for his charm and talent, but also for his struggles with alcoholism. This marriage, too, was fraught with challenges, as Elizabeth grappled with Young's addiction and the tumult it brought into their lives. Despite her efforts to save the marriage, it ended in divorce in 1963, leaving Elizabeth to navigate the waters of love and loss once more. It was on the set of the crime drama Johnny Cool in 1963 that Elizabeth's heart was captured once again, this time by director William Asher. This relationship blossomed into a partnership both personal and professional, leading to marriage and the birth of three children. William played a pivotal role in Elizabeth's career, encouraging her to take on the role of Samantha Stevens in Bewitched, a show that would become a defining moment in her career and a testament to their collaborative spirit. The success of Bewitched brought joy and fulfillment to Elizabeth's life, but the pressures of fame and the demands of work began to strain her marriage to William. The couple's relationship faced its ultimate test when Elizabeth embarked on an affair with director Richard Michaels during the show's final season. This affair, coupled with William's infidelity, led to the dissolution of their marriage in 1973, marking the end of a significant chapter in Elizabeth's life. In the years that followed, Elizabeth's search for love continued, leading her into the arms of actor Robert Foxworth. Their relationship, built on mutual respect and affection, blossomed into marriage in 1993. This union provided Elizabeth with a sense of stability and companionship that had eluded her in her previous marriages. Together they shared a life until Elizabeth's untimely death in 1995. Her Charm Elizabeth Montgomery's allure extended far beyond the television screens that showcased her magical performances. With a blend of grace, beauty, and an undeniable spark of vivacity, she captivated not only the audiences of her time, but also some of the most iconic figures in Hollywood. Her charm was not just a facet of her on-screen persona, it was an intrinsic part of her being, weaving its way through her personal and professional life with equal measure. In the early 1960s, Hollywood was a constellation of stars, and Elizabeth shone brightly among them. Her relationships with industry giants such as Elvis Presley, Dean Martin, and Gary Cooper spoke volumes about her magnetic appeal. These connections, however, were not mere tabloid fodder. They were reflections of a woman whose presence was as compelling off-screen as it was on. Elizabeth's interactions with these men were complex, marked by the highs and lows of any relationship under the scrutiny of the public eye. Her friendship with Elvis Presley, for instance, was emblematic of her ability to form genuine connections with those around her. Despite Presley's status as a cultural icon, their relationship was grounded in mutual respect and admiration, a testament to Elizabeth's down-to-earth nature. Dean Martin and Gary Cooper, too, were drawn to Elizabeth's radiant charm. Martin, known for his smooth demeanor and quick wit, found in Elizabeth a kindred spirit. Their camaraderie was a blend of affection and admiration, a bond that transcended the superficial interactions often seen in Hollywood's social circles. Cooper, on the other hand, was captivated by Elizabeth's beauty and talent, a fascination that was evident to those who observed their interactions rising star. Elizabeth Montgomery's ascent to stardom was not a product of mere chance or familial connections. It was the culmination of talent, perseverance, and an unwavering dedication to her craft. From her early days in the American Academy of Dramatic Arts to her breakthrough roles on television and Broadway, Elizabeth's journey was marked by a relentless pursuit of excellence that would eventually establish her as one of Hollywood's most beloved actresses. 
After her initial appearances on her father's television program, Robert Montgomery Presents, Elizabeth began to carve out a niche for herself in the competitive landscape of 1950s and 60s television. Her early work included guest spots on popular shows of the time, such as Studio One in Hollywood and The Twilight Zone, where she showcased her versatility and range as an actress. These roles, though small, were instrumental in honing her skills and building her reputation in the industry. Elizabeth's Broadway debut came in 1953 with Late Love, for which she received critical acclaim. This experience on the stage proved to be invaluable, offering her a platform to explore different facets of her acting ability and to connect with audiences in a more intimate setting. Her performance in Late Love was a turning point, signaling her readiness to take on more challenging and prominent roles. The early 1960s saw Elizabeth transitioning to more significant parts in both television and film. Her role in the 1963 movie Johnny Cool was particularly noteworthy, not only for her compelling performance, but also for the professional and personal relationships it helped forge. It was during the filming of Johnny Cool that Elizabeth met William Asher, the man who would become her third husband and the director of Bewitched. Bewitched, which premiered in 1964, was a turning point in Elizabeth's career. The show, a blend of comedy, fantasy, and domestic life, was a perfect showcase for her charm, comedic timing, and ability to engage audiences. As Samantha Stevens, a witch married to an ordinary mortal, Elizabeth brought a mix of warmth, wit, and whimsy to the role, making the character beloved by viewers around the world. The show's success catapulted her to new heights of fame, firmly establishing her as a household name, Bewitched Behind the Scenes Bewitched not only marked a significant chapter in Elizabeth Montgomery's career, but also became a cultural touchstone of the 1960s, blending humor, magic, and societal commentary in a way that had never been seen before on television. Behind the enchanting episodes that captivated millions lay a world of creativity, challenges, and innovation much of it driven by Elizabeth herself, alongside her then-husband, director and producer, William Asher. The inception of Bewitched was as serendipitous as some of the plot lines it would later explore. William Asher, already an established director with a keen eye for television's evolving landscape, envisioned a show that could harness Elizabeth's unique blend of charisma and comedic talent. The concept, a witch married to an ordinary mortal navigating the trials and tribulations of suburban life was groundbreaking. It not only offered a platform for humor, but also subtly challenged the era's norms and expectations about marriage, gender roles, and domestic life. Elizabeth's involvement in Bewitched went far beyond her role in front of the camera. She was instrumental in shaping the character of Samantha Stevens, ensuring that she was not just a caricature of a witch, but a strong, independent woman with her own thoughts and feelings. This nuanced portrayal was revolutionary, offering viewers a character who was both magical and relatable, a testament to Elizabeth's vision and depth as an actress. The casting of Bewitched was another area where Elizabeth's influence was felt. The chemistry between Samantha and her mortal husband, Darren Stevens, was crucial to the show's success. Dick York, the original actor cast as Darren, shared an undeniable rapport with Elizabeth, contributing to the show's initial popularity. However, York's departure due to health issues and the subsequent casting of Dick Sargent presented challenges, both in terms of on-screen dynamics and audience acceptance. Elizabeth's professionalism and adaptability were key in this transition, helping to maintain the show's quality and charm. Behind the scenes, Bewitched was a hub of innovation, particularly in the special effects used to bring Samantha's magical antics to life. At a time when television special effects were in their infancy, the show pushed the boundaries of what was technically possible. Elizabeth often found herself acting against invisible forces, a testament to her skill and imagination as an actress. These effects, though now dated by modern standards, were a significant part of the show's appeal, adding an element of whimsy and wonder that set it apart from other sitcoms of the time. Controversies and Challenges 
Elizabeth Montgomery's career, while illustrious and filled with notable achievements, was not without its share of controversies and challenges. These moments not only tested her resilience, but also highlighted her ability to navigate the complexities of fame and personal conviction in an industry known for its relentless scrutiny. One of the most significant challenges Elizabeth faced was the societal expectations placed on women during the era in which she rose to fame. Despite her success on Bewitched, she encountered the pervasive issue of typecasting, a common plight for actors who achieve a high level of recognition in a particular role. Elizabeth's portrayal of Samantha Stevens was iconic, but it also became a double-edged sword, making it difficult for her to find roles that diverged from the lovable witch persona audiences had grown to adore. This typecasting was a hurdle in her career, pushing her to seek out roles that would showcase her versatility and depth as an actress. Beyond the screen, Elizabeth's personal life and relationships were a constant source of media attention, often leading to public scrutiny and speculation. Her marriages, particularly her union with William Asher, were subject to intense observation, with the pressures of working together on Bewitched and managing a family life in the public eye proving to be a formidable challenge. The dissolution of their marriage was fodder for tabloids, illustrating the difficulty of maintaining privacy and personal happiness amidst fame. Elizabeth's political activism and outspoken nature also set her apart in an industry that often preferred its stars to remain neutral on contentious issues. She was a vocal advocate for various causes, including women's rights and the anti-war movement during the Vietnam era. Her participation in political and social causes was bold for its time, reflecting her commitment to her beliefs despite potential backlash from conservative audiences and industry figures. This activism, while controversial, underscored her integrity and willingness to use her platform for advocacy, even when it was not the popular or easy path to take. Moreover, Elizabeth faced challenges within the industry's changing landscape, particularly as television and film evolved in the late 20th century. The advent of new media and changing audience preferences meant that she had to continually adapt and seek out projects that resonated with both her artistic sensibilities and the shifting cultural zeitgeist. Her ability to navigate these changes, taking on roles in television movies and miniseries that tackled complex themes, demonstrated her adaptability and enduring appeal as an actress advocacy and charitable works. Beyond the sparkle of Hollywood and the acclaim of her acting career, Elizabeth Montgomery dedicated herself to a range of causes, using her fame as a platform to advocate for social justice, equality, and humanitarian efforts. Her commitment to advocacy and charitable works reflected a deep sense of compassion and a desire to affect positive change in the world. Elizabeth was particularly passionate about women's rights, lending her voice and support to the feminist movement at a time when it was gaining momentum in the United States. Her advocacy went beyond mere endorsements. She actively participated in events, rallies, and campaigns aimed at promoting gender equality and empowering women. This involvement was not only indicative of her belief in the cause, but also of her willingness to stand up for what she believed in, regardless of potential professional risks. Her commitment to social issues extended to the fight against AIDS, a cause she championed during the height of the epidemic when fear and stigma surrounded the disease. Elizabeth was among the early Hollywood figures to lend her support to AIDS research and awareness, participating in fundraisers, speaking out for compassion towards those affected, and contributing to organizations dedicated to finding a cure. Her efforts in this area demonstrated her empathy and her courage in addressing a crisis that many in her industry were hesitant to confront publicly. Elizabeth's advocacy also embraced the LGBTQ community at a time when gay rights were a contentious issue. She used her visibility to advocate for acceptance and equality, participating in events like the Los Angeles Gay Pride Parade alongside her bewitched co-star Dick Sargent, who had come out as gay. Her involvement in such events was a powerful statement of solidarity and support for the LGBTQ community, reflecting her belief in love and equality for all. In addition to her work in social and political advocacy, Elizabeth was involved in various charitable endeavors aimed at improving the lives of those in need. 
She supported organizations and initiatives that focused on education, children's welfare, and health care, demonstrating a broad commitment to humanitarian causes. Her charitable work was driven by a genuine desire to make a difference, a testament to her character and her understanding of the responsibility that came with her public platform. Illness and Death Elizabeth Montgomery's final months were marked by a private battle with illness that few outside her immediate circle were aware of. In early 1995, after a prolific career and a life dedicated to activism and advocacy, Elizabeth faced her most personal and challenging role yet, a fight against colon cancer. This battle was fought away from the public eye, reflecting her desire for privacy and dignity in her final days. Elizabeth's diagnosis came at a time when she was still active in her career and philanthropic efforts. She had continued to work on television films and participate in charitable activities, showing no signs of slowing down. However, the onset of her illness would soon require her to step back from her public life. Despite the severity of her condition, Elizabeth chose to confront her diagnosis with the same grace and resilience that had characterized her approach to previous challenges in her life. The cancer was aggressive and had spread rapidly, leaving Elizabeth and her loved ones with few options for treatment. In the weeks following her diagnosis, she made the decision to spend her remaining time at her Beverly Hills home, surrounded by family and close friends. This period was one of reflection, love, and quiet goodbyes, a stark contrast to the public life she had led for so many years. On May 18, 1995, Elizabeth Montgomery passed away in the early hours of the morning at the age of 62. Her death marked the end of an era for fans of Bewitched and those who had admired her work in film, television, and her advocacy efforts. The news of her passing was met with an outpouring of grief and tributes from around the world, highlighting the impact she had made both on and off the screen. Elizabeth's funeral was a private affair attended by family, friends, and colleagues who had shared in her life and career. In keeping with her wishes, the ceremony was a celebration of her life and achievements rather than a somber occasion. Her legacy was honored by those who knew her best, with memories shared of her warmth, talent, and unwavering spirit.